So another thing that I missed, I didn't uh, get to, I saw that MLD, like, did he threaten you or something? Yeah, but that guy's a actual generate ape loser so we okay. don't worry about him anymore okay we don't speak he basically his... well we can speak him but he's yeah <laughs> i think red pill people have a really big problem surrounding themselves with actual degenerate losers so yeah. people like him people like donovan sharp why do you um, think that happens do you think because people don't just like um question their credentials i think when people start speaking confidently enough about something and then they have like somewhat decent editing behind it it's like this is legit. <laughs> I think that as long as somebody's on your team, people will, um, people are willing to let a lot of it slide, basically. Okay. Yeah. So it's, a lot of it is like a team sports thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's kind of. What do you think about MLD and uh, Donovan Sharp and Rolo Tomasi and Andrew Tate? Yeah. And Andrew Tate. Yeah. Hit us with some big opinions. <laughs> PBD just did a four and a half hour glaze session with Andrew Tate. We what, were, what do you mean glaze session? As in it's all softball questions to give Andrew Tate uh, the opportunity to share his message with the world and how horrendously mistreated he's been and how unfair the Matrix is and how trumped up and bullshit every charge against him is. So, you know, just a standard red pill coverage of Andrew Tate. Okay. But nice. you might believe half that stuff, so, you know, who knows? I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I mean, he got, um, he's officially been released, right? Or No. He's, he's about he's to get house charged. Oh. He's about to be indicted. He's about to have some formal shit come down. I mean, didn't the, the girls um, come out and say that it was um, like fabricated? No. Or they, no? Was, no. Wasn't there like transcripts of them no. saying that? What happened was, was the police officers felt like there wasn't enough evidence to go through with things. And there were text messages that got leaked of the girls communicating with each other. And what Andrew Tate's defense team tried to make it sound like was that they were making up the whole charges but the conversation between them you can go look up the transcripts later was basically i'm saying i don't know if we should tell the police officers that we were drinking or not like is that going to make them not believe us and when those conversations got like they're like oh look they made it all up but the girls were just talking between themselves like should we say that we drank it all or like would that be bad or whatever so that's the interesting and then know. that that one part of the message got is the only thing we got shown in context because i feel like people would have a different opinion of that if that was <laughs> no what? no people would not have a different opinion because everybody on the Andrew Tate side, does not care about the facts, does not care about the full transcripts, does not I mean, care people about- people can read between the lines. No, They're, it's, they, they, people saw like well, two just... lines of it and then that was the, we can go look for the transcripts if you want, actually. Yeah, if somebody just, wants to- I'm saying that the main post where that got out was probably just, it probably only included those like little bits of the Sure, but that's because the Tate team is all about trying to discredit every single witness that speaks against them. So the goal is to try to make it sound like, oh yeah, like the cops mm -hmm. dropped this because the girls were making everything yeah. up. That's well, not true. I could, never, I could never speak on that because I have no idea about like the, the legal side. I haven't looked at it, so I can't even like pretend to give an opinion on it. Sure. That's just um, the UK case too, because in Romania, I believe they had discovered, because one of the people working with the Tates was a police officer, Ro G I don't know her name, Reg Regina or something, whatever the f her name was. And apparently she had been working to hush some of the accusations that had been made at that local police officers against the Tates as well. But that's part of the, obviously, what the prosecution is going to try to prove in trial, but yeah. Damn. Yeah, listen, I don't know about any of that. Um, I like his message, though, for the most part. Um, yeah, that you I, should traffic women, open casinos, be a fake Muslim. That's his and message? And carry a sword around? No. Yeah, basically, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what you're choosing to extract from the message. The message is the most milk toast loser in the world. Go to the gym have self-esteem be a strong man be told that. yeah but it would be nice if they were told that from an actual role model and not an actual criminal that is likely a sex trafficker i mean if what you're saying is true about him being a sex trafficker then yeah i could agree with that but since that hasn't been proven amy are you to... what? i live here sorry i shouldn't look at the chat it'll distract me mm -hmm. someone asked me if i'm moving here i live here i live here i think they mean moving like into my apartment complex oh I don't think you have plans for that, right? <laughs> no. Okay, just making sure. Definitely not. Yeah. Look at me. Okay, yeah, I need to look away now. This is You're hella good. distracting. They literally never... sold, like, the Tates literally sold a course called for, um, it wasn't Hustlers University, it was one before, but for, like, how to traffic women. <laughs> like How to traffic women. Basically, how to get, like, multiple girlfriends all working under, get, like, like cam, cam girl. Yes, and then how to take all the money, collect all the money from them, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know all of that. Oh, so it was pimping ho the pimping hose degree. Yeah, I can't really speak on it too Would much. Would you really be that surprised if a guy that had a course called the pimping hose degree ended up getting That's in trouble for sex? That was literally what it was called. <laughs> 
I'm just saying, yeah, at the end of the day, you gotta call yeah, a spade a spade. But uh, listen, good messages called. for young men. They opened casinos, work with mob guys, scammed other dudes on OnlyFans. This is all stuff they've admitted. Oh man, he's just not that listen, good of a guy. He's not. I I don't I, believe that. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, if he he speaks a fancy word salad about you know getting in shape, about you know getting your finances together, about doing this and that, if he can actually back that up, and there's character traits within his person that can back up those things then yeah i'm all for it but if it's totally fake and fugazi then no i wouldn't be but i i don't know that because i don't know i just i feel like say. there's th here's this is here's my opinion okay there are two ways to approach self-improvement one of these ways is really boring so you tell people hey here are successful ways to create new routines here are successful ways to enforce new habits um here are the little steps you need to do to improve your life Usually the advice is boring. Usually it's like scientifically backed. Like people can see like these are like effective ways of doing things. Um, and and yeah, this is like the, the way, most of these ways are known. There aren't like secret tricks out there as of yet that haven't been discovered for like how to self-improve. Gotcha. Then there's like the second way, which is where you give these bombastic motivational speeches about carrying swords around. And these are the kind that get you like super pumped up and you hear them and you're really excited and then it wears off after like six hours true that's what but i don't like about the to anybody that makes you feel really passionate and strong mm -hmm. that is don't only give as good the tools to back it up at the end but here's what okay what like the taste don't give you the tools to back yeah. anything up he just tells you don't be depressed that's yeah. for losers and be a millionaire but what you're saying is true but here's the thing when it comes to people changing in life it's always very very difficult to change anything to mm -hmm. change uh, a bad habit especially um, but ultimately, there's really two things that are going to cause you to change. Number one is going to be repetition. Mm -hmm. So when you do something so much over and over and over and over again that it becomes so predictable that it's almost like weird for you to not do that thing, yeah. right? That's one way of doing things and that's what you're, um, or what I would conflate with the first thing that you mentioned where saying, you know, you can create habits and routines and give somebody like a clear laid out path and say, if you do this mm -hmm. enough times, eventually you're gonna to get to the outcome. Um, but most people don't have the discipline to be able to do that. And so the other way that most people change is through emotional impact. You know, you can tell somebody who is overweight or you know, maybe they're going through like some mild form of health issues for most of their life. You should work out, you should do this, you should do that. Most of them not gonna do it uh -huh. until they go to a freaking doctor's office and they're like, hey, this is gonna happen. Boom, that emotional impact sets in, it actually affects them and all of a sudden they're able to make changes that they haven't even been able to, to conceive as possible for them for maybe a period of like three years, five years, a decade. Mm -hmm. But when that emotional impact kicks in, it, it supersedes their prior programming and like just kicks them into gear. And I think that there's power in that. I don't, I believe, think there's a I don't believe that second thing happens that much. I think the only things that can make that happen are major major emotional Im you don't think emotional impact yeah, emotional impact is not watching somebody in a youtube video emotional impact is like you almost die or you experience the death of like a family member or you in some other way you hit rock bottom and you've like been deprived of a lot of things you're used to but it can be a catalyst i don't think an andrew tate video is a catalyst no. you don't so you you don't think andrew tate has been a catalyst for anybody to feel emotional impact in their life and then say okay now i'm actually gonna maybe it wasn't that information that actually changed the wiring of their there brain might be. to do better but maybe from there they were like okay how can i find this plan how can i find this first thing that you were talking about to actually help make these results sustainable and there might be i mean like there might be some people that do that but i i think one Andrew Tate doesn't really give any self-help advice. Like I've never heard him like give good advice on like working out or managing your finances or relationships or anything. Actually, I've never heard a single piece of good. It's usually like these kind of um, like emotionally loaded impact statements of like, you need to get out and change yourself and change the world and do all blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, how? Um, so one, the advice he gives is dog um, and then, or non-existent. Um, and then two, um, I had a second point and it just escaped me. Uh oh. Two, uh, even there might be some people where maybe he's like their new f role model daddy or whatever, and he's got that emotional impact or whatever. But there's so much baggage that comes along with like all the that he says and all the communities you've got to be involved in to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. That like I don't even know if I would consider it a net positive at that point. I think the biggest problem is probably like the people who like try to rip off the message and then all of oh. the. Um... Thanks. You have some? Well, maybe, but now it's the... weird to eat in front of somebody. No, it's not. You're fine. Go for it. 
Oh god, she said it was fine, it's so... One of those ones. What? It's one of those ones. Sure. I think the worst thing that comes with that is like the discount versions of Andrew Tate that then pop up through like a regurgitating mm -hmm. a watered down message. Wait, that... hold on one second. Where's my fire sauce? Was it in the bag? Yeah, over here. Oh, so you just emptied it without saying anything? Did you think that they just put it in there for fun that I didn't like specially request that? I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.